Hello, this is Chris McVeigh with KDE Direct. Today I'm going to be going over some basic soldering techniques. Today I'll be showing you how to solder a wire to a power distribution board and also how to solder a wire to a bullet connector. These are the two most common connections on a platform that need to be soldered. We'll be showing you some techniques today on how to properly do this. First we'll go over the tools being used today. Our soldering iron being used is a Weller 60 watt 120 volt that can reach temperatures of 850 F. You need a good soldering iron that can provide correct temperatures for the materials you're trying to solder. Take your time and choose the correct tool for the right job. If your soldering iron cannot provide proper heat ranges for the amount of materials being soldered, you'll end up with a cold solder joint. A cold solder joint can lead to higher amperage draws and eventually a component failure causing a crash. We'll also be using a wide tip on the iron today to distribute the heat properly for the soldering we'll be doing. Choosing the correct tip is very important. If you choose too small of a tip, the iron cannot distribute the heat properly to the amount of materials being soldered. This can also lead to a cold solder joint. We have a, a rosin flux pin and lead solder with 2.2% flux. The flux helps the solder flow and penetrate the wire properly. The lead based solder has a lower melting temperature and flows faster for soldering. If you do not have a rosin flux pin, you can also use flux paste. This will work exactly the same. Our first soldering job, I'm going to solder a 14 gauge wire onto a power distribution board pad. I'm going to strip the wire with a pair of wire strippers. I want the exposed wire to be the width of the pad itself. With our wire stripped to the proper width, we'll take our flux pin and apply flux to both the pad and the wire. Before we apply solder, we want to make sure the iron's tip is nice and clean. The Weller iron has a wet sponge for this. Make sure the tip is clean with no contaminants. This is very important. You should constantly be cleaning the tip before soldering each connection. Now we'll apply solder to the power distribution board's pad first. Make sure to provide enough solder to cover the whole pad and have a small mound of solder left. Now we'll apply solder to the wire. Make sure the wire is covered through from side to side. Now we'll place the wire on top of the pad. When you add your iron, the two should melt together fairly quickly. Add solder to both to make sure you get proper coverage. As you can see here, this gives you a very clean solder joint. Now we move on to soldering a wire to a bullet connector. I have a large 12 gauge wire here to demonstrate. I also have two different bullet connectors with different size ports to be soldered to. If you don't have a nice solder jig, you can, use, you can simply use a pair of channel locks to hold the bullet connector. This is very simple to use. 
Something important is stripping the wire properly to the correct length. You want the wire strands to bottom out in the port, but also have the least amount of wire stripped back. Stripping the wire properly makes for a very nice and clean installation. Here you can see that I have properly stripped the wire back for both of these bullet connectors. We can now take our bullet connector and place it in the channel locks to make it secure for soldering. Now use our flux pin or paste on both the wire and the bullet connector. Make sure your soldering tip is clean. Place the solder on the wire and make sure it penetrates to both sides. You don't want to distort the wire to the point that it will no longer fit into the bullet connector. With the wire pre-soldered, make sure that it will still fit into the bullet connector properly. Clean the iron soldering tip and place it on the side of the bullet connector. You want to add solder into the connector until it's approximately two-thirds full. Now add the wire. You want to fill the wire bottom out in the, in the bullet connector. Add solder if needed to the side to fill the port. Now that we have both bullet connectors finished soldering, we want to look and make sure that the port is completely full of solder. There should be no voids in the solder at the top of the port. Then we want to do a pull test on the connector and make sure that everything is fine. I hope that these soldering techniques from KDE Direct help you out. Thank you very much for watching.